Badow! Woo! Welcome to Sip and Shop, Season 3, Episode 3. I am your host, Andrea Fair with the Bailey. I'm rocking hip hop neutral. How about that? Hip hop neutral on this Saturday morning as your Saturday beauty break. Your Saturday refresher, your Saturday check in. Guess who's in the house? The voice. Ah! <laughs> the shady voice. The shady voice is in the house. Let me just open up by saying, giving you the category is hip hop realness. I don't know. Look. It, it wasn't planned. I woke up this morning and said, I honestly didn't have, right? Because yeah. normally in the week I get hit with mm -hmm. Facebook family, Instagram live family. I get the vision of what Sip and Shop is. I did not get the vision until right. this morning. Right. Literally, like the other things, but the visual for me, I didn't have a clue. Until this morning, I was like, ah! It makes sense. Perfect. Okay, so it's fall. So I'm just giving you fall trendy looks. So you have an idea of what you can do. Right? Um, just to spice it up a bit. So I got my little charcoal hat flipped to the back so you mm -hmm. can see me. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to showcase, let's start off, we're doing three blinged looks today. Mm -hmm. Which of course will be on discount as my gift to you. Mm -hmm. So you can look fly for fall winter. This particular pair are unisex. I'm going to start with the libations. I just need to get this going first because it's mm -hmm. different looks we have rocking today. So this one definitely is, if you are that eclectic fellow and confident to rock it, you can. Mm -hmm. This is the Kizel. It's not an actual Kizel, but it's Kizel-esque mm -hmm. frames um, with genuine Swarovski crystals that I bling through my other business, Blinged BB. What nice. is Bling BB? It's Bling by Brooklyn because I'm Brooklyn down to the bone. <laughs> the bone marrow. Down to the bone marrow. So, um, as you can see, it's like gold and clear. It's dope. It's fly. Yeah. <clears throat> the regular price of these glasses, the value is $125. But today, including shipping, you get this one for $65 only while we're going live nice. once i hit the button it goes back to the actual rate so if you want them the first person who sends in the ducats will get them and you can go on a uh, cash app let me get my <clears throat> let me read it off correctly mm -hmm. um you can go to cash app for fair with the faces is the name or you can go to Vimo for andrea fair with a bailey and the first person who wants the kazelle-esque unisex frames right the first person to send in their 65 dollars they will get them with free shipping mm -hmm. that's it let's open up the show as we normally do with the libation let's do that right let's, let's do, that. do that so get your libations please your cup, glass mug, mm -hmm. solo cup, bottle, flute. What else is there? A, a, a mug. Mug. That's know. about it. Right? Pretty much. As mm -hmm. long as it's healthy so that you are honoring your temple is what we want most of all. Mm -hmm. So everyone, let's just take a toast together because we made it through so far, right? Funk right. face, I see you there, bro. I see you. Um, Melissa, I see you. Thank you. Here by David, I hear you. I see you. Thank you all for joining in. Look, we made it. Thank you! Another week! That's right. Another week on this journey. Faith walk. Faith walk. Right? Mm -hmm. All of that. But we were hoping and praying that you have a love sphere protection that's what we've been saying right mm -hmm. each week on the sip and shop hoping that for you so we are going to drink in love today how about that mm -hmm. right grateful for uh, waking up in your right mind right. healthy body healthy spirit and that you have love and protection around you thank you that's right and calling it in hallelujah salute salute hmm 
Yes, yes. What is Andrea drinking? Well, she will share right now. I wanted to go back to the super basics, y'all. Not a fancy drink, but just something to bring on the um, immune boosting, mm -hmm. right? So all this is is hot water, but I brought it. it it's been sitting for a minute because I like that lemony, mm -hmm. that real pretty strong lemony taste. So it is perfect room temperature of hot water, lemon, ginger, and honey. How about that? Nice. Eddie, what are you drinking? Water. Basic water. Okay. I got to quench that thirst. Yeah. Hydrate. Vinoy, I'm drinking hot water, but it's down to room temperature, lemon, ginger, and honey mix. And it is fabulous. I let this sit about 15 minutes. Right before we went on air, so 15 minutes to really get the kick of the lemon, and you see my little lemon floating around in there. Mm -hmm. So, there you go. Oh, we got a lot to get to today, y'all. Let's get cracking. Remember, the first to get in on these babies, get it Cash App or the Venmo app. Okay, so what are you watching? May I make a suggestion? Thank you, I shall. Mm. Me and this, if Yolanda Wins heard me with this, she'll be like, as a vocalist, you cannot do that to your instrument, sister. You cannot. You must honor thy temple. I need to take another sip on that. Yolanda Wins. Mm -hmm. If you don't know who she is, check her out on Instagram, y'all. If you need vocal lessons, go to her, the master. Okay. This one was interesting. So I was flicking through on, um, you can see it on Amazon and Showtime. I was flicking through the other day mm -hmm. and then it came up. What's that? Macho, the Hector Camacho story. Mm -hmm. Documentary about Hector Camacho, the boxer. Mm. Child, let me sit back for this because I got to say it again. Child, that was an intense documentary. Mm-hmm. Now, I remember Hector Camacho when um, I was younger, like in my, you know, teen, late teen years when he came up. Yeah. The first thing, Eddie, don't get mad. I thought Hector Camacho was fine as hell. I was like, who the hell is this that, you know, just this beautiful looking uh, Puerto Rican Latino brother that this he just kept with this, with the fists, with the fists, fast, fury fists. Right. And I was like, wow. OK. And then. You know, they they were showcasing, like, his neighborhood, like, back then. But it was more of him, like, traveling through the neighborhood and mm -hmm. him speaking. You know, but not so much of hearing um, what his neighbors felt about him so much. About the symbolism of him in the neighborhood. It was more of the cameras following him around because he was, um, he was the hero mm -hmm. um, in the neighborhood, right? So... The cameras would follow him around. You wouldn't really hear the commentary of how the neighbors felt about him. Well, in this, the Macho Hector Camacho uh, story, you do get the perspective of what he did, the symbolism of him for his neighbors and how the neighbors felt about him and the inspiration that he was for, for the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, his mother, I thought... And I don't know if you all, if you look at it, if you will agree with me, if you see it, but I was like, yo, because I always look at it, how God works. Like the men look like the mother. A lot of times the women look like the father mm -hmm. traces in this one. I really felt like in studying his mother's face, like Hector really looks like his mother. I don't know what he, his father looks like, but I really felt like, ah, the eyes, you know, certain mannerisms that she has is him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like living on. But then I was also struck by, um, I was struck by his support team mm -hmm. in many ways, his initial support team of how much they believed in him and encouraged him and, you know, the discipline that they had around him to keep him straight. But then also he had a beautiful wife named Amy and I was struck by her for a number of reasons. First, her beauty. I thought that she looked like a Latin Halle Berry. Mm. 
I really did. I was like, yo. And then she had like this beautiful hair mm -hmm. that she was rocking all these different cuts of the 80s. It was super fly. Y'all have to see her. And then also her strength. I always believe that any successful man, always, I'm not going to say sometimes, I think that always a super successful man has a powerful woman behind him. I always felt that. And that's just my experience. I don't know how you feel about it, if you agree with me, but I always feel like there is some powerful woman as the backbone, and, and it's the romantic woman, either the girlfriend, wife, you know, or a long, significant, long-time partner that is the person that helps to keep him straight. Mm -hmm. Please, if you are a boxing fan or just someone that um, wants to be inspired, you know, because he came from the projects, you know, it doesn't matter where you start, it's where you end up. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, unfortunately, his is one of, was one of demise, which is the heartbreaking part of it, you know, and... Um, his mother's um, grief behind it but if you want to go back and have another um, perspective on Hector Camacho check right. it out because I think it's really worth um, watching on I don't know if anyone out there has already seen it if you have let us know what you think um, but there's another one you want me you, are you ready for me no not yet let me take a sip before I introduce all right okay Mm -mm. How y'all doing out there? I hope you're doing well. Anyone making comments, Eddie, about how they're doing or Hector Camacho or the glasses? No, not yet. Or me. Ha! <laughs> okay, let's move. Let's move it on. Let's bring in. Let's bring in some funk on this thing. So, what did the funk mean in the description of Sip and Shop today? The funk is quite significant. Funk face, not just you, but someone that I'm sure inspired you, my brother, because he is a musician. Mm -hmm. Check him out. I'm saying check out Funk Face. That's on Instagram Live right now. Check out his um, his feeds and his uh, Instagram link. Bitchin' the sound and fury of Rick James. Mm -hmm. That you can see on Rick is on Showtime. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. That was a good one. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Rick James. Okay, I'm not gonna go into all that because you know where that came from. <laughs> but let me sit down and lift this leg up. Um, okay, Rick James. Let me just say this. You know that Rick James is a musical genius. You know that. It was interesting because they take you all the way back in time from his birth and his upbringing and everything and, mm -hmm. you know, his um, musical gifts. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the heck I was thinking, forgetting, forgetting how much Rick James produced other artists right. that were very successful and significant. In particular, the freaking Mary Jane Girls. Yeah. That was Do that. you all realize that Rick James wrote all their songs? And the documentary gives the reason why it was easy for Rick James to write as a, as a woman in, in the viewpoint of um, women. They, right. it, it, tells it, it tells why. And I was like, tack on. Right. That's interesting. Right. And if, you don't, if, if, if you're a Rick James fan and if all you know, if your introduction to Rick James was The Chappelle Show, then this gives you a, a broader view or a deeper perspective of who he really was and who he was as a musician. Like, dude was, dude made George Clinton jealous. Had some words for Prince. You know? Stepped to him and said a few things. Right. <laughs> said a few things. But, you know, of course, everyone knows in the end. I hate, hate that drugs are even in this world. That can ravage and take down those that have, well, anyone. Because I believe that every single person has their own potential to discover and develop. Yeah. But um, the demise of Rick James with drugs is just um, heartbreaking. It's really sad. 
is really sad. So, but I think uh, the this documentary is definitely worth worth watching, and hopefully you all yeah me too will you know check it out and get more insight into the the genius of Rick James. It was really something mm-hmm. something to see. Time for a change. Hold on for a second, please. Hold on. What in the world is Andrea doing? She's about to hit you with it. Look, do, duo. What? No, duo. Look, dose. Get it together with your Spanish. Look, dose. Mm-hmm. This is the second look for today. Coming to you via Blinged BB. Nice. Now, this one is for the ladies. Unless you are a sister, and you know what I mean by that, that can carry it on and want to look cute in that direction, be my guest. Now, this one has a little kind of cat esque frame in a way, not really, but kind of. Mm-hmm. Clear frames. Something about this clear today with that shade, right? Metallic shade. Mm-hmm. Can you see Instagram? Blinged, hand blinged with pinkish, pinkish, because it gives off that, you know, just a kick to the frame. Shirovsky crystals by me, of course. Okay. So the value of these are 65 but you can get it with free shipping for 45 45 mm-hmm. These... All of my frames are quality. There's something really different about this particular frame, though, for me. Always has been. Um, mm, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it goes with everything. And, of course, you know, you look super dope for fall, winter, summer, whatever. It don't matter. It's season for this. But it's just the fact of the price. Right. The discount. The, the fact that you get it for free shipping. And instead of 65 it's 45 to the first person that gets it to Cash App, Fairweather Faces, or Venmo, Andrea Fairweather Bailey, it can be yours for $45. Again, free shipping. But once I hit the click on either button today, then it goes back to the regular price. So this is your, your treat. And I'd like to introduce to you now a very special someone. Someone who has a lot of insight for everything. I think he's amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of insight on damn near any topic you want to talk about. But today, he's going to give you his own version of... What is it that Eddie's watching what? Take it away. Eddie's watching Squid Game. <clears throat> So, Squid Game is a, a drama series out of Korea on Netflix, and it's about 10 episodes, and it's about these people who are in debt. They're in debt, and they need to get out of debt, and most of these people are gamblers. And so, this rich society takes these people and puts them in a game, and the game is called the Squid Game, and in that game, they play these childhood games, but whoever loses the games it's a deadly consequence for that. And whoever wins this game gets a, 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 a shitload of money. Mm. And so that, that so the, the premise is this whole, these people are, that are in debt are in this whole dystopia and they're trying to get out of it. And so it's, uh, if you like movies like The Hunger Games, you know, things that are about survival, The Walking Dead, things of that nature, that whole dystopia thing, you'll love Squid Game. I'll say though, as a disclaimer, a lot of things about Squid Game are disturbing. However, if you like stuff like that, watch Squid Game, do yourself a favor. It's 10 episodes you can binge this weekend. Yeah, and good luck to you, because I'm not watching that. I gotta be careful with my psyche. Yeah. Um, I know that sometimes, majority of the times, I'm falling asleep before Eddie, he stays up late. We have different schedules like that. And when I roll over, I'm like, babe, is that that show? And I just turn over quickly because I don't want any parts of it. So, yeah, like, you know, we're married, but we don't like the same things all the time. That's more of Eddie's wheelhouse. I just told him, babe, be careful because I'm, you know, don't watch too many things that are negative because it does alter your psyche. 
you know, but um, yeah, I, I know some friends at, at the show at GMA that are watching it and have binged and they're like, you know, if you're down, everything that Eddie said, if you're down for it, then, then you know, you check it out. But check this out, y'all. So, I got a pair of Crocs, right? And, um, I don't know what I, no, I guess I didn't bring it out. No, wait, I think it was in my hat. Oh, shoot, wait, did I put it in my hat? Well, I put it somewhere. Oh, okay, well, somewhere, somewhere. The the Crocs charm, the right? Mm -hmm. How the heck, does anyone, can anyone guide me on how to get that thing? Okay, is it? Because I have nails, I don't want to like jam it in and break a nail. But does anyone have any tips on how to get the charms, the, the croc charm into the shoe itself? I don't know how to do it. I'm like, it, do you have to unscrew it? It doesn't seem like it can be unscrewed. I don't know how to do it. Can anyone like kind of guide me on that? I know it may seem silly, but I honestly don't know how to do it. Hmm. How to get the croc Somebody charm. How to, do it. how to get the croc charm into the croc shoe. Ask him to join. They're trying to join. I no, they're not asking me to join. But if anyone has a tip on how to get that in, child, please share it. Cause I don't know how to do it, and I can't. You know, I just don't know how to do it. So if you can help me out, that would be great. Hmm. And it's time for hang tight. What in the world is Andrea doing now? Andrea's doing something else. Hang tight, because here it comes. Boom! Bang! <laughs> and he's like, boom, bang. Oh, yes, we're giving rose gold realness on this. Mm. Okay, you know, only someone that doesn't mind the attention. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to say. The attention, right, can rock these. Rose, gold, fierce, neutral frame, right? Mm -hmm. Kicked in. So this is all monochromatic because then I got the Swarovski crystals that are, that are the complementary, same mm -hmm. hue, those family. Nice. I like those. You like these, babe? Yeah, those are nice. Okay. So um, this is your third and final look for today from Bling BB. The value of these is 95 95 for these, but I am doing it at the discount for 65 including shipping. Mm -hmm. These are stunt. You will stunt. You will stunt on the children. Oh, Let me just say that. So if you want it for yourself, you know the first person to send it in to uh, Cash App. Fair with the Faces is the name, or Venmo, Andrea Fair with the Bailey, mm -hmm. will be the one to get this. And understand that this and the other styles that you've seen today are one of a kind. Hmm. They're one of a kind. So you will not see these again. My style is just, I like, the, I like it that way, for everyone to be an individual so I don't pump out a whole lot of the same look. There's something different with each piece, something really different, but there's it's only one of a kind. So if you like it, get it. Mm -hmm. And if you can afford it, maybe you'll get more than one and mm -hmm. get one for yourself and gift it for a friend, however you want to do it or keep it for yourself. But either way, it's discount time. Yeah. Right, Ed, it's discount. Yeah. So, all right. Did uh, you, Eddie, or anyone out there have any revelations you'd like to share that happened this week that to uplift us? Anything? Oh, revelation. Hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have a revelation right now. That, not, not really. Now, my, I, I guess my only thing would be to uh, just, you know, continue to, uh, to know that God loves you. Amen. That's it. Amen. That's right. That's it. That's right. You know? So, you know that. I do. Then you good. Right. And I hope we all know that. And remind yourself of that. Exactly. Um, well, you know that I try, like, through symbolism. I'm about to get to my revelation in a second. So, I'm rocking again with the sphere of love right above me. The love your body, scented candle, in love. Mm-hmm. 
base, one of the bases of it, this scent is mm-hmm. sweet mint. It is glorious, y'all. Mm-hmm. Glorious. I told you it's um hand poured soy candles. It's right. basically a vegan line. Right. Um, black couple, black owned mm-hmm. in North Carolina. Shipping is fast. Yeah. Quality packaging, quality ingredients, quality products. Right. They've got a great love story. Check them out. Right. Let them know that love. Uh, let them know that love. That's right. That love sent you. The love from Sip and Shop sent you. Right. Today's feature is the love candle. Beautiful. But my um, revelation this week that I want to share is something that actually did happen. This is always the test. When you're vulnerable is when it happens. So, you know, of course, we're trying to, everyone's trying to catch up financially due to COVID, Mm -hmm. right? And an opportunity came along that was a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. But then there was, what would you say? Like, there was a lot of, no, the options didn't come yet. It was, I don't know, there was just problems with this this potential um, opportunity that it was just a lot of like, manhandling they were doing with me and it was weird and was not warranted it was ridiculous Mm -hmm. and um i was watching my response to it and then it was taken away from us Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. the opportunity okay um my normal self not normal the self that i knew before right because i feel like i'm maturing the self that i knew before would have been pining over it worrying over it um saying what did i do wrong that caused this all those things it had nothing to do with me Mm -hmm. i I was facing the realism of it it really didn't because they don't know us Mm -hmm. right it had nothing to do with it but i put the prayer out into the universe and just said god if you release that from us that meant it wasn't meant to be but you will bring in what is to be and what is ours and it it's happening y'all so my revelation this week was trusting when something is removed, you you trust that something else will replace it. Right. And when it does, acknowledge it because someone else needs to hear that story and be lifted up to know that it's possible that whatever was taken from them can be replaced. Right. And most times it's even better. Right. But you be grateful that of the acknowledgement, you know what I mean? Like, right. wow, this happened and that was taken away. But your belief, your right. faith, your faith walk in it. And then you move towards what the new thing is. Right. Right. But you acknowledge and tell the story. You testify to someone right. else to let them know what you've been through so that they can come through. Mm-hmm. I think it's powerful, too, on the back end of that. That deserves a sip. Yeah. That was a big one. Pretty big revelation. Let's get into some fun beauty looks, shall we? Let's have some fun. All right, so I got to take off the glasses for a second because I have to tell the truth about something. Okay. Last night, Eddie and I, just to take advantage of the weather out there, Mm -hmm. make sure I'm not smearing, um, to take advantage of the weather out there, I asked him... You know, babe, we had a really long week. Let's go to the beer garden that's up the the block and up the street. And he was like, yeah, let's go. So we sat out. Very unusual for us to sit, like, right there by the curb on Fulton. But it was such a beautiful night. And um, I got at the German beer garden a small little taste of the um, the grapefruit beer. I'm not sure there's a particular name for it, but it's a grapefruit beer. Themed beer, right? Yeah. Infused beer. It's a German beer. It's a German beer. And you got the what? I got the Hefeweizen. Okay. That's a German type of beer too. Right. And then we got, and I was like, babe, can we please get the truffle fries? So we got that. Right. And then she made, she ate another batch of truffle fries. So she went a little too far. So guess what happened to my black behind when I woke up this morning? But ow! I had, and I still have it. Like they're starting to recede now. 
when I tell you baguettes, right. bags under my eyes, it was like, I can't do the show. Like, it, it was crazy, but I said, but I know what I can do to trick the eye. I know what I can do. So I'd like to share with you something that has helped me and my clients and is helping me right now. I'm telling y'all, I'm carrying baguettes, right. bags under the eyes right now because of the combination of the beer and going too far with the truffle fries, which I know has a lot of salt. Yeah. I wasn't able to take in as much water as I should have last night to counteract it. I slept, I woke up, I was punt being punt like, right. looked crazy. So my secret, believe it or not, the thing to recede and reduce the puffiness is a combination of the Fair Weather Faces products. Yeah. The first thing that you want to look at when you have is, <clears throat> I always go for my color corrector. And the first reason why is because I gotta remove the marks under my skin so that my skin will look even after. This is peach, just to let you know. Um, you would either get brightener or peach in this regard. But underneath the eye is crucial. So I put just a swipe, just a little swatch of this first just to prepare the eyes for what's to come next. Mm -hmm. Then I use just a little concealer under there, right? Little concealer foundation and to knock out the pop marks from the masks. Cause you know, I've been dealing with that for a while, but this is the next crucial step to get those bags down. You want to use this one right here. It's either Hollywood or Vice. Hollywood is my shade on up to my darker beauties and Vice is everyone lighter than me on down to the vanilla honeys. That's how I call, you know, deem out fair with the faces beauties in terms of flavors, right? Um, this, that product is the one that I just do a swipe underneath the eye area. Um, if you want like a fuller lip, you can put it by the bow and you just bleed it out onto the cheekbones. But mm -hmm. it is the thing that helps under camera, mm -hmm. in person, it looks supernatural, but it tricks the eye so it recedes the bags and gives the skin like the beginnings of the glow. Right. Then I counteracted by putting on a bit of the contour. I didn't go, I didn't shade strong. I just shaded a little bit because my face was looking right from those truffle fries last night so I was looking like like that so I just had to chisel just softly I just did like a little something here and then I put a little bit just in my crease just to open up the crease a little bit right mm -hmm. then the next one is pop back warmth right with color orchidy Orchidy blush is the thing that brings back the warmth. So it starts to like trick the eyes of where you should be looking, right? How to do this, those things. And then the final part is activation. Mm -hmm. Two pumps of this, the mini setting spray, the mini. You can get full size if you need, but the mini is cool because you can travel with it. Only two pumps, y'all. No more than two. But it then marries all of the, the products together so there are no lines. It doesn't look like um, patchy, mm -hmm. blotchy. Right. It just like blends everything together for you and literally activates right. the, um, the Hollywood or the Vice. So then it just like, so if you like at all my work mm -hmm. if, that you see on television, understand that that's what I'm using on my clients, female and male. Okay, is definitely the activation of that Hollywood or Vice, mm -hmm. your contour, right? Whichever one is your color. And men, of course, aren't getting the blush, but the women do. And then I activate it with the setting spray. And that, those are your tricks, right. right? So if you want, go to fairweatherfaces.com. They're up right now on Andrea's seasonal picks. You can go and get them if you want your glow and you have baggage. <laughs> but just understand you can get rid of those bags mm -hmm. if you sleep better mm -hmm. True. hydrate yeah. water is especially important reduce your sodium intake mm -hmm. and increase your water intake because you know I had them here but 
you know, if you really take in too much sodium, that water from in here can move up to your lids and you can have like those big full like watery lids so that if you're applying makeup you you literally feel the lid moving because it's like a water bed like mm -hmm. the water is flowing back and forth that's what that is you've got to take in more water and reduce your sodium intake to counteract that right but sleep especially is very important but you know i mean i i, I just wanted those fries last night they were so great There's nothing wrong with that either right you gotta indulge sometime unless you'll just like break down and not eat healthy anymore exactly exactly so that's that that's the beauty tip um let me go back into my frames one more time and again let me just show you again because i'm about to do the click off y'all first frame up from 125 to 65 second frame up from 65 to 45 and these frames of course your stunners 95 to 65 whoever gets in first Come on, get it with free shipping. Everyone, I have fun. Me too. I always have fun at Sip and Shop. I hope you all did as well. I think they did. Oh, I think they did. That'll be fabulous. Oh, and I forgot my lip color look for today. Because <laughs> it's neutral down. I did, you know, white eyeliner. It's neutral. And on the lip, the base is Go Bare. It's a beigey lip gloss that we have that goes with every single complexion. Universal is gorgeous. And then on top, just to give it um, more coverage and a different feel is Liberate. Mm -hmm. So I put the two together, only glosses. I didn't do lip pencil today. Normally I do, but I didn't. And I think it still is cute, right? So it's Go Bare first, lip gloss, and then on top, liberate mm -hmm. and again you can go to fairweatherfaces.com to get all your beauty treats i love you all mm -hmm. i love you all i thank you for allowing us into your space as your saturday beauty break your saturday refresher because you need a refresher right to sure break do. up the weekend um your saturday check-in because that was the point of saturday doing... uplift thank you was the point of doing sip and shop so you know you're not alone and you're not so thank you for our final salute um lift whatever it is you're drinking always make it a healthy one thank you for today looking forward to a beautiful tomorrow and that you have a kick ass upcoming week how right. about that for in all dimensions Sip and shop viewers, I love you. Lift your glass. Let's do this. Mm. Yes. That's right. Sip and shop season three, episode three is out. Thank you all so much. I'm about to click the button. I love you all. Get your candles so you have your sphere. It's the love candle, y'all. Get your beauty products, your bling. And tune in again next week for me and The Voice. I love you all. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Instagram Live for us. See ya. See ya next time. Thank you so much. And bye, my viewers, Facebook fam. We out. <laughs>